What's up, guys? Y'all know I'm a big fan of uh, True Spec 24/7 pants, the just the standard 24/7 pants. They're great for everyday wear. They're great for preparedness. Uh, I think they're a good alternative to a, a set of BDU pants, ACU pants, whatever. <clears throat> Especially if you're looking for just a solid color, you know, pair. You've seen me guys talk about them before. I've got multiple pair. I love them, again, because they're so versatile because you can use them for everyday wear right into, you know, facing the zombies in the apocalypse. Either way, they work. However, the one downfall, and it's not really a downfall, it just is what it is. They run about, and I don't want to tell you the wrong thing here, yeah, they run about 50 bucks, give or take, depending on where you get them at. Now, personally, I think 50, 50 bucks for them is a fair price for what you're getting. But it can also be a little bit more than what some people can afford, um, which I'm in that category a lot of times too. So as with everything I do, I'm always on the lookout for ways to get good stuff but that's easier on the budget and and that's really hard sometimes because oftentimes when it comes to clothing gear equipment all that stuff the lower the price goes the crappier the quality goes or functionality or combination thereof that's not always the case though and this is going to be one of those cases where I want to show you guys something that I've kind of come to really like as an alternative to the TrueSpec 24-7 pants. Now, as you guys don't know, this is just the regular 24-7 pants. Um, you know, you've got your typical front pockets, leg pockets, back pockets, yada, yada. You've seen them. If not, go look on their website. Really love the elastic waistband in there, um, you know, the whole nine yards. These are just great all-around pants. Won't waffle on them. However, if you're looking for an alternative to the 24-7s, TrueSpec has something that I didn't even know about. Um, I just stumbled across it on their, their website one day when I was shopping for some other stuff. You know, TrueSpec makes regular BDUs, the old style BDU pants and tops. They also have what's called their basic BDU. And I'll skip to the end right now and then flip flop. Basically, long story short, I think these are a really good alternative to the 24-7 pants if price is, is an issue for you. Again, I think the 24-7s are worth it, but if you can't afford it, you can't afford it, right? Just simple numbers. The basic BDU pants take a lot of the facets of old school BDUs. You've got uh, flat back pockets, your thigh pockets. Um, you keep a button for the front right here, buttons on all the pocket flaps. You've got your old style uh, waist adjustments. Some people like those, some people hate them. I'm kind of indifferent because I always wear a belt anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. I could cut them off and never even knew they were gone. Um, but it gives you instead of buttons in the front you get a, a brass zipper and I'm pretty sure yep brass YKK zipper these are about the same weight of material as the 24 sevens maybe maybe even a little lighter I'd, I'd be hard pressed I'd have to look at the specs and see I know they've got them on the website it, it is either the same the same weight material or a little lighter but it's a rip stop um, poly cotton material but another cool thing is what they've done on the thigh pockets just to give you a little something extra is there's a hidden pocket behind the thigh pocket it doesn't go into the thigh pocket it's completely separate its own pocket which gives you kind of that extra pocket like the 24 sevens do on the on the uh, down on the thighs now again it doesn't have all the other features and stuff that the 24 sevens do but they are a really good alternative, I think, 
to the 24 sevens, especially when it comes to the price point. So 50 bucks for the 24 sevens. These are on TrueSpec's website for like 29 bucks. So for 29 bucks, you can have, I don't know what, what better to call a poor man's version, maybe of, of those, they come in a couple of different colors. You've got khaki, you've got the uh, OD green, you've got, uh, of course, if you want it, you know, black, navy blue, and even woodland camo, believe it or not. Um, so, yeah, the, the price difference, I'm going to stock up on a couple of pair of these myself just for the price. And because, again, you get the green ones or the khaki ones, they look like just plain old cargo pants for those of you that are concerned about the appearance and image and how it looks. They don't really look like anything tactical, quote unquote, whatever that actually defines anymore. Um, and just so you'll know how big this pocket is, you can actually fit a 30 round PMAG in the pocket and it just about disappears. I would never use it for magazines. I'm just using that as size reference for you. What I use it for in daily carry is I can drop my phone in there and the phone's completely hidden, but I can still get to it real easy. I like that feature for everyday use, everyday wear. So if you're looking for a good alternative a pair of pants, guys, I'm going to purchase some more of these. I like them. Um, I know some of my friends like them because they've already got some of them. And yeah. Just wanted to show those to you again. Uh, 29 bucks versus 50 bucks. They're both good. They both work. They'll both do the job. Just depends on which one's got the features you want and which one fits your fits your wallet a little better. So wanted to point those out to them and share them with you. I really like them. Not that my endorsement means much anything one way or the other, but hey, Truespec's got them. I'll put links down in the description straight to Truespec's website if you if you want to order some. Um, any true spec dealer of yours that you like to shop at should, should be able to get them. Um, they're not anything special to my knowledge. So again, check them out. The basic BDU pants recommended. Catch you later guys. Stay safe. See you next time.